Welcome everybody to the next session on the QA portal. And what I want to do today is just focus on a very nice new feature we recently added, which is the pivot grid. So pivot tables are quite nice, so it's a, I think, a very nice feature. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a pivot grid on opportunities. Drive. I do a normal report, I just take opportunities, take a couple of fields, now the account name, the industry, the type, Take some fields from the opportunity, the close dates, and make this into close quarter. So I have to do that. Magic of symmetry. Okay, put an EQ. Then with the quarter. Take the amount, we take type, the opportunity type. So we have a couple of fields. The next thing I want to do is just say, okay, um, switch from the statement view to a pivot view. And now uh, there's a quite capable view on that one. So, first of all, I say the rows, I want to have the account name, and then I want to show by quarter the columns, and I want to take the amount as the values. I'll take it as a sum, and then there's this anything. The other settings will touch afterwards. Just hit save. Let's see how the result looks like. And as you can see, we get a nice little pivot table. So we have the name of the account, we have the various quarters, when opportunities are in on this account, and at this time. A couple of additional nice features now. Um, on the one hand, if you want the pivot tables that have a little bit more information, what you can do is um, add additional raw information. So I want to have the industry in there, I want to have the type in there. And just add additional fields. Coming to the low level here, um, first of all, it's quite nice. You can, first of all, you have seen there is priest to the left, adjust the columns. The next thing I want to do is want to show totals and sums show your results that makes it a little bit more clearer. You can say, okay, we want to also sort columns. You can also click that and see what the result looks like. And what these switches basically do for me. As I want to know what you can see, the adjust column list. First of all, the additional info was passed in here. So we don't only have the name, we also have industry and type, and then the pure data. The second thing is, you see the width has been adjusted. This is my adjust width, so I want to reportualize this query in here. Uh, you have seen the fields like minimal width, etc. that help that, um, in the attempt to squeeze it in the software into the error, so you can do that in order. The other thing is the sort. Now I've sorted these rows. Originally, I'm not sure if it was sorted or not. Now with the sorting option, basically you can sort the pivot data fields. And the next nice thing, if I uh, click to want to have the totals, um, is that we add a total column automatically and the report just sums up. And we added a sum row where at the bottom there's another total, which is now not on the row, the total, but on the column. And in the end, you also get the column uh, for the total overall as well. 
So, very nice for to see that. And the other thing we can do now, if you want to make this multi-level, because you have seen that we had um, not only uh, the type of the account, but also of the opportunity, you can also add there and say, okay, we click the type of the opportunity, a second, so first of all, we go from the top, save this one, So you see there's the quarters, there's existing, there's new business. And the other thing I want to focus on is now you see there's existing new, but in Q4 there's only existing business. So two more features I just want to demo. Give you a nice view on what this thing is capable of. So with another nice little switch in here. It says okay, we can also show empty columns. So with the mix is always the same. And the other thing I just want to do is so now next to export the integration plugin section. Save it. If you compare it to before. What you can see is now um, also in Q4 now we have an empty column for the new business. Basically because we said okay we want to have empty columns but they should always be the same. So the link auto multiplies this out and says, okay, if in one of these areas I have new and existing, I should have in all of them just for comparison. Of course, there is zero down there. There is no down there. And the nice thing also from an export perspective, if you look at that, it's a very nice format. Press OK. The only export is now to Excel. And of course, PDF. Then uh, the format and everything I have set is also expected. And we up. just open the page on my screen to see what happens. Uh, we up. So this is now the sheet. The same as you, the header is the same. It's uh, just the top, the same header menu. Let's show you the type. And then, of course, the values. We have the totals here. We have Various items here, and you have the sums at the bottom. So, the Excel sheet also shows a nice and properly forwarded PDF table, table uh, which you can choose and use just as you do on the screen. Of course, you can add charts and whatever, so the basic features apply. Thank you!